Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. Salar Khan here, and with another signal, another basic sort of signal, which today we discuss the signum function. Okay, so let's say I give the heading signum. It's also known as a sine function. Sine function. All right. Now signum is a Latin word. It's a Latin word meaning sign in English, okay? It's a Latin word meaning sign in English. So why is this signal called a sign function or a signum function is that this tells us about the sign of real numbers. It tells us about the sign of real numbers. So I will write it over here that it tells about sign of real number. Now, how will it tell you? So, I will be getting into that. Okay. So, it is represented by an SGN. Now, we're dealing with continuous time domain. So, SGN of t. So, this is equal to negative 1 for t less than 0. This is equal to 0 at t equal to 0 and this is equal to positive 1 for t greater than 0. So this is signum function. Simple you can draw the graph as well for yourself. It's like this. If this is the time axis, this is the function axis, let's say SH, SG and you write it for yourself. So at t equal to 0 it's 0. After that when t is greater than 0 so it's 1 when t is less than this, so this is a negative 1. So this is the value of the function. So have a look. You can see that this is discontinuous at t is equal to 0. Discontinuous at t is equal to 0. So it cannot be differentiated at t is equal to 0. Fine. Now, we, we have another representation for this function as well which I'm writing over here so we have the signum function this is equal to the absolute of t divided by the value of t for t not equal to 0 and when t is equal to 0 the functions value is 0 so this is where you will understand it properly now coming back so have a look for the domain where it's negative any value any negative number would give you the answer to be negative one any positive value any positive value the function would give you the answer to be positive one if i write signum of three this is one if I write signum of negative 1, it is negative 1. Now it might sound a little confusing, but if you if you just have a look at it from another perspective, if you say that you have the values of x and then you have the values of f of x. In this case, our x, the independent variable is time. The f of x means the function of time is signum function. Isn't it so? So have a look now. If you draw the table, so I told you about the domain. Now if the value of the input is 0, so the output is 0. So 0. Now for any negative value, have a look. We are talking about negative value when t is less than 0. Which means if t is negative 1, t is negative 2, or any number negative n so have a look for any negative value the value of the function would be negative 1 would be negative 1 so I would write this is for negative 2 it's negative 1 for negative 1 it's negative 1 for any negative number negative n it's a negative 1 now if I have any positive values 1 3 6 or any positive number n so have a look when t is greater than 0 
the value of the function has to be 1. So it's 1 for t equal to 1, it's 1 for t equal to 3, for 6, for any positive number n. Is that fine? Now you can check it over here also. Now let's say, let's say I took the value of t equal to negative 1 as I did over here. So if you have negative 1 absolute over negative 1, so negative 1 absolute is 1 upon negative 1, so you will get a negative 1. Now, if you have the value of t equal to positive 1, so you have the positive 1 absolute upon 1, so 1 upon 1, this is equal to 1. If you have 0, so this is the 0 by 0 form, this is indeterminate, so therefore we have it, for a 0 we have it separately. Now I believe it's clear. So this is what I told you that it tells us about the sign of real numbers. Fine. Now, if I have some properties, two properties basically, the first is the relationship uh, that is between signum of t and u of t, which is the unit step signal. Now, uh, you know that we have done over here is, let's say, uh, um, uh, leave t is equal to 0, fine. So, if signum of t, so this is negative 1 for t less than 0, and it's uh, positive 1 for t greater than 0, fine. Let's say I add 1 to it. Let's say I add 1 to it. So 1 would be added to this one, 1 would be added to this one. So that would cancel out, which means that 1 plus signum of t, this would equal what? 0 for t less than 0, and it would equal 2 for t greater than 0. Isn't it so? So now we already know that the unit step function u of t, this is equal to 0 for t less than 0, and it's equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0. So, if I multiply a 2 with it, let's say I multiply a 2 with it, so you get a 2 zeros are 0 again, while 2 ones are 2. So, have a look. Isn't it this function? Isn't this one this function? It is. So, which means that the relationship of signum and unit is what? 1 plus signum of t is twice of the unit step signal. Is that okay? It is. Now the next is between uh, the relationship of signum function and uh, the impulse function delta of t. So uh, 1 plus signum of t is equal to 2 times. So let's say I name this equation A. Fine. And, and now I would differentiate it. Okay. So differentiate a. So now this one is a constant number, so differentiating it with respect to time, okay? With respect to time. So if you differentiate one with respect to time, the answer is going to be zero. Plus you have the differentiation of signum of t. And this equals what? The differentiation of two times unit step function. So now the two would come outside of the uh, differentiation and the di di differentiation of unit step function is what? It's a uh, impulse function. Differentiation of unit step is impulse and we have already discussed it previously, okay? If you've not watched those videos, so you need to watch them, okay? I cannot prove it again over here that how the differentiation of step is an impulse. So, what do you get is that the differentiation of d dt of signum of t, so this would equal twice, 2 comes outside and the differentiation of unit step I told you is the unit impulse function delta of t. So this is the relationship between signum and impulse and this was the relation between signum and step and that's all about it. So signum function does what? It tells us about the sign of real numbers, simple as it is. That's all about this video. That's all about today. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.